What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kels here, and we have another video. A food video, a food video. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. And if you're wondering, hmm, what are you gonna see on this here channel? Let me tell you. You're gonna see fashion, luxury, travel, lifestyle, and all around joy. Why? Because joy is life and life is living and that's what we plan to do. All right, friends, you may have noticed the setup's a little bit different. I'm sitting by my table that has like my jewelry and stuff on it because um, I have treats here. <laughs> we got a knife, <laughs> got a lot. I think I got a, there's a spoon, hopefully. Did I bring my spoon on too? Yes. I got my knife and I got my spoon. Yes, they're gold or brass or whatever because she bougie so on my travels i brought a few things home and now we're gonna try it and i'm gonna let you know how it is i've opened a bunch of them already just to like kind of get it prepped but um yeah let's dive on in this first one is a whiskey nougat and it is from stockholm sweden i got this at the what's it call it christmas market mm, mm, i'm gonna be smacking Hmm. Does not taste like. Oh, there's a whiskey. Okay. <laughs> um. Hmm. It's almost like fudge, but I taste a lot of flour. Like there's flour in it because it's a little gritty. Like caramel flour fudge with a hint of whiskey. It's okay. Maybe I'll like. I'll get used to it and I'll want more, but. Once this is out, I don't see myself being like, oh, God, I need that. Let's move on. Um, oh, I got these in Finland. They are chocolate gingerbreads. Little gingerbread. And then I got chocolate on this side. So. Mm-hmm. I want more of these. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm That's good. Where's my water? That's really good. You know what? I have cheese. <laughs> so let's let's cut some cheese. Cut some cheese. That's funny. This is a I didn't open it. It's a pesto. Oh, you can't really see. Yeah. It's a pesto cheese. I thought it was pesto cheddar, but I think it's just pesto cheese. <laughs> I just assume if it's in cheese form, it's gonna be cheddar, so so it looks like it's like it, it's very green. This tiny piece looks crazy. There you go. Uh huh. Yeah. This cheese was very pricey for no good reason, but it's because I've never seen pesto cheese a day in my life. Have you ever seen pesto cheese a day in your life? Exactly. We've seen pesto. We've seen pesto a lot of things, but not pesto cheese. My dog's in here hoping that I'll drop some food for them, but it's not happening. Well, this is from, this is from Sweden. Oh, I lied. This is from Finland. It's, it's on the back. It says on the back. Oh, I think I got this at the market in Finland. I think I got this in Helsinki, but it's made in Ravaniemi, which I can never actually pronounce correctly. And there's a bunch of fruits that they pick from their forest up north. And they create these little candies that are kind of like little gelatin guys oh this one's pink no smell you know what the taste are um gumdrops but better because they're not super sticky they like disintegrate a little bit more i would eat all these mm -hmm. and they made a fresh fruit like, this is the real deal from Finland. So it's not going to have a bunch of too much craziness in it. Let's see. Oh, they have it in English. Okay, good. Sugar. Mm -hmm. Cloud. So cloudberry, <clears throat> lingonberry, crowberry, <laughs> sweet grass, some jelly agent. Steel, steel over them. Okay. I would eat some more of this, but I got more stuff to try. That's good. I got this cloudberry jam on the tour 
the food tour in um, Sweden. So I'm just going to try it. I think we tried it with something and I was like, this is really good. It smells tart. Like, um, what is an orange fruit? Oh gosh, I can't. There's like a fruit in my brain right now. And it's like not very common. And it's not like a nectarine or like a cutie or orange or like a grapefruit or, or a peach, but a small little, like a kumquat, like a kumquat. It smells like a kumquat. Oh, she's sweet, but also tart. Mm. And there's like seeds or something in here from the like actual berry that they use, cloudberry. So there's seeds from the cloudberry in here. This is fantastic. Now this is, we also tried this at the food tour. And I believe this is a, like a cumin cheese. It was, I remember it being like, I felt like it was like very like Indian inspired. Guys, that's what it looks like. It's got the little seed things in it. If you can see that. That's a big piece. Try me some cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. It's so different. But it's so like milky, creamy. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy and like a little spice, but not like offensive spice, you know? Oh, that is so good. I got this in Stockholm. You can't really see. Speak at all. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I got it at the Vasa Museum and I, I assumed it was fudge. But you know what you happens when you assume. Oh, I don't know. Okay, here we go. I'm like trying to, my mouth is confused. It's kind of fudgy. Very chocolatey. But like, not the chocolate I know of in America. Like, not even the finest chocolate. It's just very different. It's, it looks like a milk chocolate, but it's not super sweet. And it's just creamy and fudgy. I think this is fudge, but like better fudge than I've ever tasted ever. This, this I also got, I bought some stuff. Um, I also got on the food tour. This is some um, Swedish chocolate, which I hope is still in one piece because well, we've been through a lot. And I think this has, this chocolate with salt. I think it has salt. Sea salt, dark chocolate. Oh, I can see it. I'm just ripping it open crazy like. It's broken already, so there's that. It's the back, which looks like big pieces of salt. Let's try it. Mm. Oh, salt. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm like, that doesn't taste like chocolate, but it is chocolate. It's sweet as chocolate. It's not as sweet. And it's like, I think it says 45% cacao. That makes the same thing. But also it's not bitter, like dark chocolate. So it's like somewhere between milk and dark. The salt is good. Mm. I'm making you hungry. <laughs> Do you want to travel? Do it and bring back food. Gifts are great, but also bring back food this thing which i don't think i want to open it because it's it's well it's a cigar well no it's not a cigar it's chocolate in the form of a cigar and it's like marscapan covered in chocolate and it's supposed to be a um what do they say um what the heck is this flavor again pear it's like a cognac pear or something like that christmas market in um in uh sweden let me smoke my cigar it's oddly shaped. It, it, it's just oddly shaped. <laughs> Let's take a whack. How much green is that? Hmm, I don't know about that. Mm. The chocolate part, good. 
Doesn't taste like pear or cognac to me. It has like a little bit of that flavor, but Mars Mars marzipan, I guess is a little too gritty for me. More cheese dishes I got from the market. Also in Sweden. I got a lot of things in Sweden. This one's kind of like a blue cheese. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. I don't know if you like blue cheese. I still don't like blue cheese dressing, but this is good. Oh, so when I was in Chicago, I got this acai jalapeno honey. So what I want to do is... Look at that. See, oh, you can see the peppers in there? I'm going to do a little dippy. Oh, I put this part in my mouth already. I'm going to use the end of this. Do a little dippy dippy to get some of that. I'm going to sprinkle it on, on the cheese. And we could try that together. Mm. I think a cracker now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, this honey's good. Oh, she's spicy. Mm-hmm. She's spicy. Mm. This honey is good. All right, I also got these from Finland. This geisha milk chocolate with soft hazelnut filling. Wait, I'm gonna move my head. And this other one is Fazarina, which might be their normal one. Solid milk chocolate. Mm-hmm. 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 That's good. I've had a lot of sweets. I'm not going to finish that right now. I need to try this one too. Oh, water break. Mm. Mm. Oh, heat's kicking in. Means it's time to go. <clears throat> All right, time for the Geisha by Freja. I love me some treats, y'all. I also bought this Grandma's Choice Tea. Oh. Smells like heaven. I'm not gonna brew it right now and make it. I'm gonna tell y'all later how that is, but. Mm, there's like real hazelnut in here. Not just like hazelnut spread. It's a tiny, tiny bit of crunch. Tiny bit of crunch. Mmm. This is better than the other one because I like the little crunch in it. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. Okay. Hmm. Guys, I don't mean to talk my mouth full. However, of the chocolates, this is my favorite. Love that. That's the one from, I got at the Vassa Museum in uh, Stockholm. Second would be this one from Finland. I got that one in Raveniemi. <laughs> I'm gonna say Finland and Sweden. Okay, that's my favorite. And then I think this is my favorite cheese from Sweden. But this cookie bangs, this is from Finland. Though this cheese from Norway is good too. Okay, it's all good. I can't, I can't decide. I don't know. So everything I ate over there was also good. So I'm never surprised that this stuff is also delicious like the stuff I was able to bring home. So guys, that was the taste test try with me foods that I brought back from my travels. Um, I would ask you what was your favorite thing, but I, I, you can't taste it. I wish you could taste it. Or you could tell me what you would want to try. Are you into like gummy candies like these, like almost like Turkish delights? Are you into chocolate? Some people hate chocolate. Are you into cheeses? Are you into biscuits? Are you into crackers? Like what are you into? And when you travel, do you buy food and bring it home? Did I tell y'all they took my jerky away from me? Somebody help me out with this. I brought back reindeer jerky and bear sausage. Don't, don't at me. They took it away when I got to, was it here? No, Chicago. I was like, y'all are raggedy. I don't think they were allowed to do that. So can y'all tell me, are they allowed to do that? Somebody help me, TSA help me out. Cause I'm very upset. I'm very, very upset. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it's free, baby. And also share with a friend because sharing is caring. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.